Okay. So get started. The type of home ownership, are you a renter or owner? I own my home. Um, the type of structure, single family detached, multi-unit time it's home. A single family home. Okay. And the approximate date you moved in? Uh, 2008. 2008? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then also, uh, tell me how your family ended up in Blakely County in Cocker. Uh, long story short. I was working at a local hospital. Okay. And uh, I was single. Mm -hmm. And the reason I was working at the local hospital uh, here, actually mm -hmm. it's in Hawkinsville, uh -huh. uh, was because they were helping pay off my student loan debt. Oh, okay. I remarried. Mm -hmm. I had plans to return to North Georgia, mm -hmm. which my wife understood. Mm -hmm. And after I finished my obligation with the local hospital, mm -hmm. she said, you can move any place you want, but I'm staying here near my family. Mm -hmm. And the next day, I bought this property and started building this office. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Gosh. And that's that's the story in the show. Yeah. Okay. So, now we're going to talk just a little bit about the structure of your home. So, like, how many bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, and the type of roof that you have. 5,000 square foot. Okay. A four bedroom. Okay. One, two, three, four bath. Okay. Uh, regular shingle roofing. Okay. All right. And so, <clears throat> have you um, ever invested in solar, either your rooftop of your home or your property, or as part of a business or as part of a program through your utility? Yes. Okay. And which one um, did you have it installed? I have it installed here at the office, as you know. Okay, so yes, and it's at the office. Carly. Okay. And I'm installing it on the farm. We live in the middle of 200 acres, uh -huh. and it's going to be installed over there, too. On the other 200 acres, farmland? Right. Correct. Okay, okay. And then tell me why you decided to have them installed. installed. Do you mind if I ask if you decided to own or lease them? I own them. You own them? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then why did you have them installed? Because I was paying Georgia Power $1,200 a month. Oh, okay. I wanted to decrease that, the cost. Okay. Plus, I wanted to improve my carbon footprint. Oh, okay. So, it's really neat. You can look at these solar arrays, uh -huh. and they actually will tell you how many tons of carbon you have, you're responsible for removing uh -huh. because you have solar power. Oh. So I'm going to have a net, a very strong net carbon footprint. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah. So I'll take you out there and show it to you if you're interested. Yeah, please. Okay. So tell me how you ended up with the rooftop solar. Well, it's not rooftop now. Well, yeah, it's, out it's there, not here on your right land. Right out there on the land. Right. I'm not quite sure. I might, I contacted some folks, got some bids on having it put in here. Okay. And found the, the best company. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. Okay. So with your solar panels, is it running your office right now? Mm -hmm. Right now, the electricity you're seeing is comes from sunshine. What? Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Matter of fact, I produce three times as much power as I use in the office. Really? Mm -hmm. But you, where it's sitting out here, it's getting a lot of direct sun mm -hmm. constantly. Do yours rotate? You can, you can sit there. No, they don't rotate. Oh, okay. But they're facing directly south. Okay. And that's the best way you can do it if they don't rotate. But you can sit there and look at the um, Georgia Power box, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, what do you call that, dial? Yeah. The meter. You can look at the meter. Uh -huh. And when the sun shines bright, mm -hmm. not only do you see the meter run backwards, but it'll start spinning around real fast. Whoa. So, yeah, I'll show that to you, too. Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. So... Dang, now, see, okay. <laughs> Let me just switch this. Because yours is business. It's different. Uh -huh. So, I'd like to give you a map of the United States. You're it's not right gonna there. Me, there. You're not going to make me point out what states there are. Uh-huh, yep. Yeah. Check where you think there have 
Um, there might be solar panels now that you use it if you want to. Where I think they might have solar panels. Rooftop solar panels on their homes in the United States. You can put a check or an X on where you think that it's located in the United States. There's no right or wrong answers. It's just well, I'm a little confused by the question. I would hope they have rooftop solar in every state. Exactly. So are you asking which states have the mm-hmm. most? Yeah, which one has rooftop solar just in general? Where do you think they're located at in the United States? And like I said, there's no right or wrong answers. It's just a guess. Well, I would definitely guess California. I would definitely guess the Southwest. What you got? I mean, those are the states I would think mm-hmm. have the, the most rooftop solar, I okay. would guess. Yeah, yeah. There's no right or wrong answers. Okay. And then I use this. Okay. So, with that being said, you check California, Arizona, and New Mexico. So, why do you think that they have Well, one, solar? California is, of course, very progressive. Okay. And Arizona and New Mexico have a ton of sunshine. Okay. So, it just makes sense to me. I don't have any data to back that up or anything. Oh, no, you don't have to. It's just what you think and feel as far as, you know, with the questions. Mm-hmm. So, when you mean, like, progressive, do you mean by, like, education yeah. and they're more... All, all apt? progressive. They're more apt okay. to have something like that. They're, mm-hmm. you know, they're looking to save energy. They're looking to have, you know, lower emissions from automobiles and that kind of stuff. Okay. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, not to this. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're, uh, that is not my expertise. Right yeah, now. it's okay. Anything you know that you like to say is fine. It's no right or wrong answer to this. Okay, so in these states that you named, California, Arizona, and New Mexico, Mexico huh? why do you think they have it there in Pulaski, I mean, Cochran, Blakely County doesn't? Wow, that's. <laughs> I don't know. Because we stupid? <laughs> I got it. I mean, I don't know. I don't know why. I mean, I talk to a lot of people around here, business owners and stuff yeah, like that. And so like, what are they well, doing? tell me about your solar. I'm like, do it. Yeah. I mean, just do it. You will save money. Mm-hmm. So do you think they're, like, the questions they're asking you, is it more like knowledge or are they trying to figure out, like, how you run your business totally off the solar panels? Are they asking you know, all stuff All the about above, that? yeah. They're asking all those questions. Oh, okay. And, of course, they're mostly interested in how did you pay for it. Oh, cost. Yeah. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. So that map there is Uh the second one. It's the state of Georgia. And And you you want me to say which ones I think, which county? Mm Mm-hmm. I ain't got a clue. (laughs) It's okay. I know Lawrence County. Okay. Has solar. All right. Because I've seen it. (laughs) Um, I don't know who, I don't know who else would have it. I know that on my way. Mm Mm-hmm. To Columbus, somebody else did that too. There was a county. Mm-hmm. Let's see, it wasn't Dooley. I think it was further than that. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. Here's Blackley. Maybe it was Peach or Taylor County. <coughs> but I saw like miles and miles and miles of solar. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna guess it's Peach County. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so you got those checked, okay? So when you think about those counties there, what makes them different? Why do you think they have those rooftop solars or those solar panels that you saw? Because I've seen them. (laughs) You've seen them. And anything else you'd like to add to that? No, I'm not. (laughs) Again, that's not my area of expertise, so it's just pure guessing. So, what about those counties that you check? Why do they have it? You think the ones that you've seen compared to you haven't seen any in Cochrane? Because they're smarter. (laughs) (laughs) I I don't know. (laughs) Um, Anything else you want to add to it? No. Okay. So, does any of your close friends have the solar? Why do you think they don't? Because they stupid. (laughs) (laughs) They just, they just... They're unwilling to pull the trigger. I think most people are, are nervous, nervous about, about it. the initial investment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I understand that. Yeah, it's all right. The okay. initial investment was expensive. I was just about to ask you. So, with your so solar let me, panels. So, let me tell you about my solar panels. Yeah. Okay. The initial investment was probably about 120000 okay. When did you get these installed? 
I don't know, maybe my, my office manager will remember four or five years. It was during the Obama administration. Oh, right. And, so it's and Obama, okay. made, it, Obama made solar panels and that stuff investing. Yes. I don't know about Ding Dong Trump. I know he's right. not so cool about yeah. solar. Yeah, he, Obama he was he environmental wants to, friendly. Yeah. yeah. So during the Obama administration, yeah. it was you, if you went as a business now, yeah. you could take and buy your solar, mm-hmm. and then the federal government would give you a credit of mm-hmm. 30, 30 some on 33%. Yeah. So mine was more than a hundred thousand, but just for ease, for sake of ease, easiness. Mm-hmm. Let's say it was a hundred thousand I spent. Right. The federal government basically wrote me a check for thirty-three thousand dollars. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. So my initial investment was sixty-seven thousand. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Add up. Yeah, that is up to a hundred thousand. <laughs> uh, and then the government allowed me to rapidly depreciate. That sixty-seven thousand mm-hmm. over five years. By doing what? Depreciated. Oh, they so depreciated I could take it off my taxes. Credit. Right. So like they give you a tax credit for it. They gave me tax. Well, the tax credit was that initial thirty-three uh-huh. percent right. that they gave you the first year. Okay. And then depreciation was you got to actually take, you know, one fourth or one fifth of that uh-huh. remaining sixty-seven thousand. And, and act like it was an expense to your company that year. And then every year for four or five years, you get, so it was almost like the federal government was paying for it. For it. Wow, that's nice. And immediately, I saw my you know savings from nine hundred to twelve hundred dollars a month in uh-huh. electric bill uh-huh. down to negligible amounts. Wow. And the thing I wish I had done uh-huh. differently was not had, had immediately signed up with Georgia Power like I did. Yeah. Because I still have anywhere from a hundred to sometimes three hundred in the summertime dollar bill with with Georgia Power. Oh. Even though I give them <coughs> more electricity than I take. Right. Because what the way it is now is, you know, during when it's sunny, mm-hmm. I'm lighting my office up mm-hmm. and I'm sending power to Georgia Power three times as much as I ever have used. Okay? Right. So they're getting lots of power from it. But the way they have me signed up is that all they do is they don't charge me for the daytime. Like what, whatever power I produce in the daytime, and I have the meter running this way, yeah, counterclockwise, I guess you'd say. <coughs> then I'm not getting, I'm not paying anything. They're not charging me, you know, anything at all for electricity. Right. But then when it starts getting, when it's cloudy outside or when it's dark outside, and the system flips over to the grid. To uh-huh. their grid, then they charge me. But there's so I'm not getting any extra credit for the extra power I send them. Right. All I'm getting is not charged for the power I'm using because okay. it's lighting my office up. Right. And then at nighttime, I've got servers, I've got um, lab equipment, uh-huh. I've got uh, two four-ton air conditioning units right. that run, uh-huh. and so I, I'll get charged for those. So if I had to do it differently, I would have signed up with Georgia Power differently. I would have said, hey, y'all just pay me for the power I give you. Right. So you can't change it now. Eventually, I hope I can change it. Right. But thus yeah. far, I haven't. Oh, man. At the house, what I want to do is I've got battery backup. Mm-hmm. I've got a different type of system. Mm-hmm. And I'm hoping to be able to completely cut off any power from the grid. <laughs> with your house. Like with my house mm-hmm. and my farm equipment and mm-hmm. my pumps that I pump for a pecan orchard and that kind of oh, stuff. Oh, you're a farmer too. Well, if you say farmer, put it in asterisks. Oh, I try to farm. Yeah, okay. Farm. I can't claim to be a farmer because if I was a true farmer, I would have gone bankrupt a long time ago. <laughs> but I'm trying. You tried. So I'm trying. So, okay, I've ran into a lot of farmers and they've mm-hmm. asked... That question is, does since you're trying this, uh-huh. will those solar panels, like you're doing pecans, you said, right? Right. Would those those pivots that you would need to water uh-huh. the pecans, do you, is there yes, enough solar panel yes. to generate those Absolutely, pivots? Absolutely, 100%. Really? Yes. Because they said no, it gives off yes. so much wattage that it needs in order yeah, to water Yeah, and the water. biggest issue is for to the pumps to initially engage uh-huh. So they suck up 
so much amperage initially, uh -huh. and then it drops off once the pump starts starts running. So you have to have enough for that first burst, and then after that, it's, it's not so much power that's used. And so you've got to cover that initial usage. My understanding, again, this is not my yeah, yeah, yeah. expertise. I'm a pediatrician. All right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. But that's my understanding. Yeah. So you've got to have way over what you need in wattage and, and amperage initially. Mm -hmm. But then after that, it drops off. But, like, I have 45 kilowatts worth of um, solar panels out here. Oh. And that's way more than you would need to run multiple um, and this is at your farm, your area. Right, I also have 45 kilowatts in my farm. Wow, but so that can hold on. everything that you need. And yes, you can. wouldn't have to use Georgia Power for electricity. Well, I don't even, I use Omogi. Oh, you use Omogi out there. Omogi out there. Okay, yeah. so you wouldn't and have they're to not, use And they're not very uh, solar, not yet as far as I can tell, not very solar uh -huh. friendly. Because initially I said, hey, let me, like I do with Georgia Power, let me put in these solar panels and you know, I can feed it into your grid, and they're, mm -hmm. they're like, solar panels? <laughs> you're like, well, well, all we're obligated to do is, is let you give us 10%. I'm like, that's, you know, I got, I got plenty of power to give you. Yeah. Just give me credit for it. Yeah. So, no. So then I said, okay, I'm going to look into just going off grid. Uh -huh. And that's what I'm working on. So you're going to get enough panels to accommodate your house and I have your enough farm. panels. Oh, you have enough already. Right, it's just, just getting, getting the installation, just getting it installed. Whoa, that's cool there, Dr. Bill. I like that. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. So You would like it, yeah. Yeah. I would love to see what you got out here, too. Well, I'm going to go show you. Know, you. Oh, okay. You want to go look? Yeah. We're going okay. to keep your mic going. Gonna I'm going to call it. I'm going to keep them just going to call it for a second. All right, go ahead. Here, let me show you this. Okay. So right now, if you look at this, it says... Uh-huh. They put a new box in there. You know how they usually have the... Uh, you see that way the air is pointing? Yeah. That way? Uh-huh. Okay, when, when I'm using, you know, if you look at most of these electric meter boxes, uh -huh. they got that thing that, that spins. Okay? Yeah. And it spins like that, and it shows you, you know, how much power you use. Like, you kick on your air conditioning, you'll see that thing start spinning like a fan. Okay, it starts yeah. spinning. Okay, so they've got this new type of digital, I guess, or I don't know when they replace that. Uh -huh. But... If I was, if it was nighttime, you'd see that arrow pointing the other way. Right. Or instead of seeing, if they had the old meter box on there, instead of seeing the um, the little wheel, whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. spinning uh, clockwise, mm -hmm. you would see it spinning counterclockwise. And then it's, it's just, it, it was fun to watch because when the cloud would come over, yeah. it would spin counterclockwise slower. And then when the cloud were breaking the sun come, it would start spinning real fast. Right. And that's just showing how much power I'm providing to the grid oh. over and above what I'm using in the office. Right. So e even though I'm using two, I've got power going to two four-ton units right here. Uh-huh. In lots of lab equipment, lots of freezers, and you know all the rest of that stuff. Yeah. I'm still, I'm still um, setting power off to the grid. Right. And so George Power said, thank you, thank you, thank you for that free power, thank you. <laughs> and, and for your for your good deeds in doing this, yeah. we're not going to uh, charge you for the power that you are producing. Yeah. So I'm not I'm not real fond of Georgia Power. Right. Because you know, they, they knew what they were they were doing when they got me signed up for this. Yeah. So these are your all your panels. Mm -hmm. And then what are those boxes for that there? I just want to show you these are um, when you have um, power that comes through your solar uh, panels, it comes in as DC. I don't know if you understand DC current versus AC current. Oh, no. In, the, in, in Europe, they use DC. In America, we use AC. There's multiple reasons for why they do that. Yeah. And we don't. But, so, basically, you have DC current coming in mm -hmm. from sunshine and these in these panels that I have put up here. Yeah. And then they come into these converter boxes mm -hmm. and they change it to AC mm -hmm. power, yeah. which we can use. Right. Okay? And then they pump the AC into my office mm -hmm. and into the into the grid. 
brown. So you got to have some, unless you live in Europe, I don't know how Europe does it. Yeah. You got to have, uh, I guess you would call it a converter box. Right. To change the power from DC current to AC current. Right. And, uh. I don't know why I can't see since you didn't see anything on any of these boxes. Right? Oh, here, here. Yeah, if you watch it, mm -hmm. and it's getting harder and harder to see, it'll tell you how much power you've produced. Mm -hmm. And then there's also in there, it will tell you about your carbon footprint. Oh, oh what you were talking about earlier. On uh, how much CO2 saved 96, yeah. no, 967. 1,901 pounds of CO2 just from the solar panels that come to this inverter. That's what it's called, inverter. Yeah. Right. And you have six, five of these inverters. Yeah. Oh. I think the sun is just destroyed. You can't see anything coming from them anymore. But that's good, though. Isn't that cool? It is cool. Yeah. And you have enough to, like, run your own, like, you don't need the Georgia Power Electricity. You have enough for your I don't, own. and they get lots of electricity from me, but. Yeah. They don't give me credit for it, so. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's who installed it, Southern View Energy. Yeah. So, Southern View Energy, yeah. Okay. And that's who's going to reinstall yours again, you think, for your farmland? Well, I don't know. I contacted them. They wanted 40000 to install. I'm like, $40,000? Yeah. That's a lot of money. Yeah. I mean, I know I'm a doctor, but I'm a Medicaid Welfare Peach State doctor. Right. Not one of those big city doctors. So. Right. So I'm kind of hedging around trying to think, can I do this myself? Oh, so, that's yeah. awesome.